So, hey guys, we're on to the next part, part two. This is where you're going to customize your theme. So, um, the theme that they normally have is what's called Launchpad Star. When you first start your Shopify, everyone gets this one. I personally don't like it. So you click Visit Theme Store. And you can choose to either pay for your theme or you can just have a free one. I suggest in the beginning, get a free one. Because why, why pay for something you don't know you're going to like? So, um, the theme that I have on both of my stores is Venture. I find it easier to use. So, we're going to click Venture. You can get a test, view a demo to see if you really like it. I personally like it because I like that you can have one giant picture, have all of your tabs up here, even have your cool logo. And I like that you can have featured um, products or featured collections right on the front page. And you can also have it looking like this. So this is kind of what my Young Goddess store looks like. It kind of looks exactly like this. And my, like a girl store, only it stops to about here. And then it goes to the bottom of the page, which is here. So this is also where you would put your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, and your return policy. This will go directly on your page and it would be clickable so that people can see it. Also here is where you should have your social media. So if you, you have a store, it should automatically connect to your Facebook, your Twitter, and your Instagram. And you will be able to do that in the back side of the theme. So you click install theme. You don't necessarily have to choose Venture. This is just the one that I like the, the most. And this is the one that I know for a fact. When I do my free plus shipping and my locksmith app, it works perfectly with this app. So some themes don't work that well with the, the locksmith app. And it actually tells you that when you get into the app, it tells you that it doesn't work with certain themes. But I know for a fact that it works with Venture because of I because I have it. So Okay, so once it downloads, you're gonna go to your theme manager. From your theme manager, you're going to customize your theme. And this is where you get to customize your theme. So it comes up, it adds your, your name of your store, and this is kind of what it looks like without all your products in it. So for me, you're, this is where you change the colors. I personally like my background to be, what? oh, another color. I like it to be white. Not pink. White, okay. And then you can change your link color. Change it to black. Uh, I change the page background to white. I change this. I'm a big fan of pink, so we're gonna do pink. We're gonna do a baby pink. So to keep the same colors, you're gonna copy this code. wherever you see the red, you're gonna change it to that color. So you have a consistent color going on. And as you can see, you got pink here. Pink is there. Thank you. And the pink is here. It's also there. Yep. And it's also there. So I'm fine with all the other colors this little back button. We're going to press save. You can also change the topography. So if you don't like the font that's in the store, if you don't like the font, you can change it here. You can also change the sizing of the font. I think it's fine, so I'm going to leave it. So this is where you can add a custom logo. You can add a custom logo right here if you'd like. That's what I did on my own goddess store. I didn't do that for my like a girl store. I kept that with just the words. And you can also add a favicon. A favicon is the is what you get when you click on the store. 
So like on YouTube, if you click YouTube, at the top of your tab next to where it says YouTube, there's a, a red button with the arrow on it. That's what a favicon is. So you can open up and you can choose a picture. I'm just gonna pick a random picture to be my favicon. And then choose this picture. So it uploads your image and it'll automatically download it to your store. Okay, so you're gonna click save. You're gonna go back. So this is the slideshow. The slideshow is right here. It's right behind the welcome to the shop sign. So instead of saying welcome to the shop, you could say welcome to whatever your store name is. And then this is where you would add a picture. Um, we're gonna do, yeah, we're just gonna do this picture again. So the thing about Venture is, is that it blows up your picture. It makes it really huge. Yep, just like that. So if you're gonna use a small, I, I suggest using a smaller size picture because it's gonna make it extremely huge. And if you use a huge picture, it's just gonna blow it up even more. So I just suggest you use like, not a super small picture, but a slightly smaller picture um, than the recommended size. So use something that's like 800 by 800 or something like that, and it, it'll blow it up and make it look bigger. Okay, so if you want to create more than one picture, you can enable it and it'll show multiple pictures. So the next picture we're gonna do, we can do this one. So let's see if it'll show the picture. Yep. So it'll just keep going, flipping back between the two pictures and you can even add um, a heading text. actually have your header tell a story if you'd like with your different pictures and you can have up to um, five pictures that you can add into your your little slideshow so I'm just going to do those two pictures so here is what we call feature collections this is where you would add your different collections so we don't have any collections right now so let's save this and let me show you how to add a collection. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the button that says products. And products, we're gonna click collections. And at the top right here, we're gonna click add collection. This is where you add a collection. So I'm gonna name this one tops. And we're gonna call it tees. It also publishes um, your collection to Facebook. So once you collect your Facebook um, app, like we did over here, right there, it automatically creates a, a feed and it, it puts your products into different collections. So a person can basically shop right on Facebook. They never have to leave Facebook in order to buy your products. So that's really cool. So we're gonna click Tease. We're gonna click manually select. And we're gonna hit save. We're going to click create another collection. We're going to do three. We're going to do tees. We're going to do hoodies. We're going to click manually again. Save collection. And do it one more time. Create another collection. We're going to do accessories. So again, manually, save collection. And then we're gonna go back to our store and see, pops up right there. So we're gonna click tees as the first one, hoodies as the second one, and a 
accessories is the third one. So you can have up to six. And they show up right here. So you can stretch the image so that it fills the entire thing. Because normally the image sits underneath. If you don't click this, it sits right underneath here. And then this leaves the top white. When you click stretch, it makes it so the image background is entirely behind the words. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep the image towards the bottom. And then click save. Here. So you can have featured products, and that's what this is. So this is where this is a specific collection. So this is where you would choose your collection, like accessories. So since there are no products and accessories, it's not going to show. But to kind of give you a general idea, so your accessory picture, your number one item. The picture would show up right here, and then it would show however many products are in that first row. You can have as many rows as you like. You can have up to two or three. And it shows basically every single product up to about however many rows you do. I have this. I can actually show you in my other store. So in my Young Goddess store, this is the same. Um, theme venture so like I said before the image it goes behind the words and this is what it would look like this is my dresses and this is the first four in dresses the same thing with tops bottoms and shoes so this is kind of what it would look like if you did do if you did add that and in my other store this is how it would look if you didn't add it. So it just has the picture, the top, and then the three collections that I have in the store right here. So there you have it. Those are the two ways that you could do it. I personally don't like it, so I like it better without it. I feel like it makes your store less cluttered. But if you have a lot of products, like my Young Goddess store has over 300 items in the store, so it doesn't so it makes more sense to show to showcase all of them whereas my like girl store only has about 14 no it has 30 items in that store so i don't necessarily need to showcase all of it on the first page so yeah this is what it would look like if you just did the tees the hoodies the feature collections with this up here So we're going to come back here. So this is what your cart page, you make sure that these are enabled. This is where you would add your social media. So you can add your Facebook here, your Twitter, your Pinterest, your Instagram, your Tumblr, your YouTube, all of your Facebook sharing. And make sure that these are all clicked. You press save and you can look at your checkout. You can have a banner, you can have a custom banner. You can even add your logo to the checkout page or you can add a really cool background or you can change the background color, the form fields, so you can make it look really awesome. You can also change the colors as well, so we're going to change it to the color that we copied from the first page to make it that same pink. To make it that same pink and then we're going to change this color. an error color and I make it that this light pink color and you hit save and just like that you have created your theme your theme is all done your stuff is all finished so the next thing we're going to do is add to the footer menu we're going to add the refund policy privacy policy and terms and conditions to the footer menu so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this page. We're going to go to online store. We're gonna put pages. 
Okay, and then another tab. We're going to go to settings. And we're gonna go to checkout. So right here, we're going to select and copy. We're gonna go back to pages. We're gonna hit add page. So we're gonna, you can either put return policy or refund policy. I'm gonna put return policy. You're gonna paste it. Okay, make sure it's all in there. Alrighty, you're gonna click save. Okay, and you would do the same thing for the privacy policy and the terms and conditions. After that, after you've created all three of your pages, you're gonna hit navigation. Oh. Make sure you save before you leave the page. So, you're gonna hit navigation. You see where it says footer menu? You're gonna hit edit menu. You're going to hit add menu item. You're going to write return policy or whatever policy you want to start with. You're going to click page. Then you're going to select the page, return policy, and then you're going to save it. Okay, so it's been added to your footer. So you're going to go back to your theme. Let's see if it'll let it pop up. We're gonna change something and change it back. And boom, it popped right up. So that's all you have to do to create your theme and add your different pages to your store. I hope that this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.